Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be showing you how to fix the oil leak in your 3.6 liter Ram Pro Master. Okay friends, why are we doing this video? Because uh, most of the, the customers who were getting here in the shop that they have these trucks, every time there is an oil leak in, the, in these trucks, the oil is gonna be coming from the same place. So it's a very common problem with these engines. So we're just uh, showing you where to go whenever you get this oil leak on your, on your engine. Remember, stay to the end of this video and we're gonna show you how to fix it, okay? First of all, I wanna show you from this engine, this is an engine, 3.6 liter, liter engine that came from one of those trucks, okay? Uh, what's like a general description of what's, what goes on when, when this oil leak shows, okay? This is your engine oil cooler and this is the, the oil filter housing, all right? So you're gonna be noticing that in your transmission, which would be like around here, because this is where it bolts to the engine, you're gonna notice the oil is gonna start dripping from the top of the transmission, engine oil. That means that you're gonna have a problem with your engine oil cooler, all right? So now, come over here, I wanna show you something. Here in, in this truck right here, I'm basically fixing that problem. That's why we wanted to show you. And if you notice up here, you're gonna see, I already took the oil cooler out and you see all the oil that's sitting right there. So I have the oil cooler here. This is gonna be the oil cooler assembly. And the problem is gonna be on these O-rings. See, you, you get O-rings here, one here, one here one here, one here, and then, actually these are gaskets, and then there is an O-ring here in this, in this tube, okay? I believe this is for the oil, the oil comes through here, over here, and then these three are for coolant. And this right here is gonna be the oil cooler. So you wanna replace these gaskets and the O-ring, but there is something else, because uh, what happens is that this oil filter housing is plastic like 10 minute oil change places, you gotta be very careful because sometimes they're not careful when, you're, when they're taking the cap off when they're, or, or when they're putting it in. If they tighten this too much, they can crack the housing because the housing is plastic. And then you're gonna end up having the same, the very same problem. All right, friends, thank you for watching this video. If you have any specific problems on this truck or, or procedure, just leave them in the comments below and remember, subscribe to the channel and see you next time, alright? 